Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and it is time to squash and stretch. So, uh, our nonlinear deformer that we're going to look at now is the squash, and it's one of the 12 principles of animation, which is squash and stretch. Uh, and of course, that's probably what inspired them to make this. So, just click on it to create it, and we can go into here and let's look at factor first. So, I'm going to middle mouse drag this like so and you can see it's stretching and then squashing okay let's leave it a little bit squashed like so uh, we can expand even more or uh, if this is going negative we could retract I shouldn't say it's negative but uh, I should say stretching uh, let's see let's see if we can retract even more there you go um, let's set these back to one and let's set the factor to zero. There we go, that's our original. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and play with this a little bit again. Um, you could set like a max, max expansion. Um, you can mess with the smoothness in the beginning and the end. I don't know why they really call this smoothness. It's more like fall off, um, but whatever. Uh, and then of course there's a low bound and high bound just like there are with other deformers. And that's pretty much it for this one. Um, it could be useful if you're trying to animate stuff. You can stack a few of these different uh, deformers together, and this one will allow you to squash and stretch it. So that's our squash and stretch. Not too long. And let's move on to the next one.